Rick Ross is an American rapper, entrepreneur, and record executive extraordinaire. In just a few years, he managed to become one of the richest rappers in the world with a net worth of around $40 million. If you're a regular viewer of this channel, then you know having that kind of money just sitting around in the bank means that Rick Ross is probably blowing money fast, but that doesn't necessarily mean he's wasting it. In fact, after I show you how he invested so much of that money into some of the nicest cars in the world, I think you'll all agree it wasn't a waste at all. These are toys? Yeah, these are some of the toys right here. There's a few of them. Do you choose your cars depending on where you're going and how you feel? It is. I'm most definitely, it, it's most definitely off the vibe. Ross owns a collection of dozens of cars. In fact, he has so many that there's no way I could cover them all in the span of the short video. But don't worry, because what I'm going to do is show you some of the nicest vehicles in his garage, like the Fisker Karma and the Rolls Royce Phantom, along with a whole bunch more. I mean, as the CEO of the record label Maybach Music Group, it's it's only right that he owns a Maybach of his own, right? I'm also going to give you a taste of his classics collection as well. Come on, don't tell me you're not impressed already. I mean, let's be honest, Rick Ross is so rich that he could just wake up wanting to buy a new supercar, then head down to a dealer that same day and pay for his new wheels in cash. So why don't we take a look at about a dozen of Rick Ross's nicest cars. Hey guys and girls, it's Kara here for you with a brand new car tour. This one taking a look at the collection of rap legend Rick Ross. This guy is such a boss that he owns several fast food restaurants and even his own champagne brand. And if that list of achievements doesn't impress you, just wait till you get a load of these cars. If you enjoy this video, be sure to check out the other recent ones we've done in the collections of Gucci Mane and Floyd Mayweather. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram. Now let's get into this video. Alright, since Rick has so many cars, I'm going to spend my time highlighting what makes a few of them special. Let's kick things off with a classic vehicle that's the epitome of rap culture. The Cadillac Escalade is apparently the only luxury SUV that Ross is willing to keep in his collection. This car has a bold body with a chrome trim and features a 6.2 liter V8 engine paired with a 6 speed automatic transmission that can deliver 403 horsepower and 415 pounds of torque for some smooth driving experiences. Brand new, this car can retail for as much as 90k these days. Rick likes to call his BMW 760i his dirty white thing. Yeah, that's a thing with him. He names his cars. In fact, he's even got one car that he calls Justin Bieber and another he's dubbed Oprah. He says there's no rhyme or reason to it. The car just tells him what its name should be. This is a 6 liter 48 valve V12 engine, which is basically the epitome of BMW technology. It can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 5.4 seconds. And while the white paint job may seem restrained, sometimes even Rick Ross needs needs to keep a low profile, you know? Ross might be into luxury cars more than he's into supercars, but let's face it, no rapper's car collection would be complete without a Ferrari 458 Italia. This car would have set Ross back around $250,000 when he first purchased it, but he also had custom red Forgiata rims attached to his 458 to match the red interior. He didn't keep it looking that way for long though. The Maybach Music Group decided to modify the 458 for their boss, and the result was a gigantic shark on wheels scary. Next, let's take a look at one of the most in-demand cars that Rick owns, the Fisker Karma. This hybrid vehicle is extremely popular among celebrities and is owned by everyone from Leonardo DiCaprio to Justin Bieber. Eco-friendly cars have never looked as good as this one and it also features the ability to manually shift from full electric to fuel assisted mode. Snatching this bad boy up would have set Rick back around 110k. We're going from environmentally friendly to as luxurious as they come with our next entry. Rick's Rolls Royce Phantom. This beauty is powered by a 6.7 liter V12 engine that can produce 453 horsepower and 531 pounds per feet of torque, mated to an 8 speed automatic transmission. Which is basically code for saying, despite being a boat on wheels, the Phantom can go from 0 to 60 in just 5.7 seconds. Exemplifying luxury in the modern day car, the Phantom set Ross back around $600,000. And much like with other vehicles, he named this one as well. An umbrella. Once you get inside this and sit under the stars, you need an umbrella. You know what I'm saying? And re I hold your umbrella, baby. We're gonna be holding the umbrella together. Yeah, baby. yeah, and, and you know. 
<laughs> Can we see it this time? Re, 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 re. <laughs> but Ross's memories in his Phantom aren't all positive. He crashed a previous model of this powerful car back in 2013 while he was trying to get away from shooters who drove up next to him only to open fire. As the CEO of Maybach Records, the man's gotta own his very own Maybach. I mean, how would it look if he didn't? In fact, Rick owns a few makes and models of this brand, but his nicest is probably the Maybach 57S. This is one of the most comfortable cars ever made, and its retail price reflects that. Ross would have dropped north of $300,000 on this bad boy when he purchased it. The car features a V12 engine with 5-speed automatic transmission and is capable of going from 0 to 60 miles per hour in about 3.2 seconds. Remember the Hummer H2? Cause Rick Ross sure does. For men the size of DeBoss, the H2 might be the only car big enough to comfortably sit him up front. Under the hood of this off-road marvel is a V8 engine with 6-speed transmission. Its rough design and all-terrain conquering capabilities are a large part of the charm when it comes to this brand of vehicle. Rick was so excited about this purchase that he posted a photo to Instagram with him sitting on top of his Bentley Continental Super Sports. This car is the perfect blend of luxury and performance. It excels Accelerates from 0 to 60 in just 3.7 seconds and has a top speed of 204 miles per hour. It manages to do all of that while still remaining roomy enough to seat a dude as big as Ross comfortably inside. That must have a lot to do with Rick needing to drop over $300,000 on it. No car collection is complete without a Mercedes and Rick's got quite a few of them, but the nicest one he owns is probably the Mercedes-Benz CLS. This vehicle offers predictable and precise steering, four-wheel drive and smooth dependence brakes. If you're looking for one of your own, it's gonna set you back close to 100k. Alright, before I end this video, I thought I'd give you a little taste of Rick's classic car collection. Rick's got so many of these beauties that it's hard to keep track of all of them, but recently he took former NBA player Dwayne Wade on a tour of his collection. Some of the cars in this collection are a 1973 Chevy Impala, which was featured in the music video for his song Box Chevy, as well as a 1957 Chevy Bel Air. At some point in recent history, Rick decided to color coordinate his classic whips, and now he has a red side to his collection and a black side. Getting to spend some time in that garage would truly be a classic car collector's wildest dream come true. And Rick gets to live that dream every day. Oh, he's also getting newly minted cars fresh out of the factory delivered to his front door during the pandemic, like this custom Rolls Royce Cullinan. That's that cheap pride, huh? That's that, yeah, rest in peace to the Caramar. That's what that is. You feel me? He said caramel. That's that caramel right there. You see? And even a million dollar Maybach Humvee with custom installed Louis Vuitton seats because apparently that's an actual thing. You see these seats? My brother gonna take my seats out and put it in. And I want y'all to know, y'all hearing it loud and clear. He done robbed me. Rose putting these in his. And what I want to know is, can I fit that? What size is that? One size fits all, sir. Lucky guy, huh? All right, I think we're gonna end this video here. What did you guys think of the many different cars in Rick Ross's collection? Would you spend more time with his more modern rides or would you be all about the classics? Let me know in the comments down below and while you're at it, drop us some names of other celebrities you'd like to see in this series. Follow me on Instagram so we can chat and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.